Well, yeah, you guessed it, it's a Toyota Supra. We've got it in today for a couple of small dents to the doors. I'm Martin Saddle from Dent Remover, and in a second, I'm gonna pull the car in and I'll show you the small dents. This car is absolutely mint. Well, apart from the dents, but it'll soon be even minter. First dent we're going to repair is right on top of the door. It's in one of those annoying places. Every time you go to your car, you're gonna see it. The next one is a bit lower down, not in a very obvious place, but just equally as annoying. And number three dent is on the opposite side door, at the front, at the bottom, always a tricky area to repair, so I'm gonna save this till last. Okay, so I've marked the dents up. There's one at the top, one at the bottom, as you know. How am I gonna repair these dents? Well, we're gonna be using a sign board. Mine's got lines on, can use a fog board, which I showed you this a second ago. Using small bars like this, we can push between the skin. If it's open access, we can lever using these tools and we'll just tweak the dents out nice and gradually. And then we can tap around the area just to blend it in and the dents are gone. So I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so we've opened the door and we've secured it. Just by taking this trim off, we've got two little clips, and obviously these two clips go into little holes. So what we can do is we can use a little bar. We can pop it through here, slide it in, and if you can see there, where's the dent? See, it's moving already. So that means we can get right in there and um, easily take this dent out. So let's take a look at this first dent. As you can see, with lines all gone, take the lines away. We can look at it with the fog. It's just another way of repairing dents, just a different type of reflection. We can also use natural reflection. Ready? There we go. So we've got three types of reflection, lines, fog, and natural. Right, on to the next one. Number two dent. How are we gonna get to this one? Okay, so we've still got this rubber trim. So, it's gotta be attached on somehow. And it is, another little clip. So, take the clip out, and there's a hole there. So we can get right onto this dent. Thing is, it is quite a small hole, so chances are you start putting a, a bar through there, you're gonna start breaking the paint. So for a little extra effort, you can take the door skin, door card off, and we've got this membrane. Quite brittle, because it's quite a few years old, but it looks to be in good condition. So we don't really wanna start ripping this, because it's there for a reason. So we carefully pull this out of the way and get all the way inside and the dent is down there. So I think we're gonna use this way of getting in instead of a little hole for this one. Using a plastic tip to finish off. Okay, so here we go with the second one. Got the line board there. Got the natural reflection. 
bog bard as well. Right then, pick all the tools up and uh, pop over to the other side. Okay, we're on dent number three now. It's at the bottom, well, bottom front edge of the door, so it's always going to be a bit of an issue to get to. Um, first thing I'd do with this is I'd check to see if it's braced. So you push it. If there's a bit of flexibility there, there's a good chance that it's not braced. If you push it and it's solid, it means that there's a brace there. Also, we can take the window down, um, get, a, get a flat bar in through there. But as the door card's off, it's a no-brainer just to check inside with a torch, just to see if it's open and if we can get another tool in there that can do the job. If not, we'll take the window down. Right then, let's take a look at some access areas. We've got this large area. We could take all this panelling out. Um, I don't really want to because it's quite an older car, so the less we strip, the uh, the less chance of breaking anything. But if you can see behind there, we've got another clearer bit of plastic, and that will be fully accessible. We've also got a little bung here, we go through there. We've got a drain hole underneath. You can see it there. We could use all those. And... I've took the window down and we can see inside there as well. So there is a brace, but the dent is underneath. Um, so we'll be okay. But I think I'll be going through the window because if I have the door open like this to do the repair, I can't see my reflection. It's, it's going to be really awkward. So if I shut the door, I've got a lot of reflection options and um, it's quite comfortable to do the repair. So I'll be using a long bar going down there with a blunt tip on the end, plastic tip. Go down there, we're going to miss the window and um, just gently tweak it out. Okay, so now we're done with this third dent. And that's with the lines. And then we've got the fog board going from a different angle. Take these off. Can use some lighting from a distance. I'd say it's just a tiny little mark in the center of where the dent was. And that was from whatever hit it. Could have been a door edge or something like that, but it's um, it's just on the on the painted surface. So I mean, if that was polished up, it'd be mint. Okay, that's it. We're all done now on this Toyota Supra. Three dents taken out, bob on. If you do like my videos, why not like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also click the bell and you'll get notifications for the latest videos I bring out. But for now, thank you very much.